so sorry it's been a hot second since I've been on. I've been a little bit busy. And I also did a post, which some of you probably saw, about if people were more interested in weather-related activities or like anatomy-related activities. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't think people were going to be interested in, in anatomy-related activities. But you guys were, which is pretty awesome because I'm into that kind of stuff. So. I don't have an anatomy related activity today. Today's actually going to be a fun weather related one because it's like 80 degrees and it's gorgeous outside and okay it has to do with clouds but we don't really want to see clouds right now. But anyway I thought it would be fun and then I promise I will follow up with some anatomy ones eventually. So guys welcome to the cat lab. Okay, so inspiration for this experiment actually came from my Bible reading earlier this week. It was in Job chapter 36, and it talks all about the water cycle in that chapter. And I think it's always super cool to read about how science and the Bible can coincide. And so then I saw this experiment and I was like, what? This is too cool, like we have to do this. So let's grab your supplies and I'll show you what to do. It's low key, it's a pretty easy experiment, but it looks really pretty, so figured why not. So we're keeping things nice and easy for this experiment. All you're going to need is you're going to have two things full of water. So um, one of them, this is what we're going to be doing the actual experiment in. So it's like a big flower vase. I filled it up halfway with water. The other one is extra that we're going to be using to saturate the cloud. So I also have blue food dye. So we're going to use that. We also have Arbisol shaving cream, which is going to be our cloud and a turkey baster. So this or an eyedropper, I think would probably be big. Um, your medium is that you're using it. So this vase is pretty big, so I decided the turkey baster was the better way to go. So step one is just mixing up our rainwater. So I'm going to put a bunch of drops of blue so that you can really tell the color um, because that'll make it fun later on. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And yeah, we got that. So from here, what we're going to do is take our big vase full of water I'm going to take the shaving cream and I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. So this is all done now. This is what she looks like, which is pretty cool. I like the, um, like the glass is cool because you can see the cloud from underneath though. So anyways, clouds are made out of water vapor. So they look all light and fluffy like shaving cream, but in reality, they're not. They're actually kind of heavy. And when they get too heavy, that's when it starts to rain. So Sorry for the bad camera angles. But anyways, that's what we're gonna see today. So the point of this is to put in water until the clouds can't hold it anymore. And then it's gonna like trickle down into the water underneath it. And so that represents just kind of like how the water cycle works where the water keeps getting evaporated until and condensing until it's too heavy and then it rains. So let's see how many drops it takes to get to the bottom of the cloud. The rain, rain, rain came down, down, down in rushing, rising rivets Till the river crept out of its bed and crept right into Piglet's Poor Piglet, he was frightened with quite a rightful So it looks like we've uh, reached maximum capacity. You can kind of see it with the food coloring that's starting to drip down into the actual water. That's why we did it blue so that you could actually see it. So it took a lot of water to get to this point, which is very impressive. And it's really, really pretty. So you can see over here, what you saw up here forming above it. It's kind of like when it's really, really humid outside, you can like almost feel the rain, but nothing's happening. And then finally, there's enough humidity in the air to actually drip down. And that's what, that's what gives us rain. 10, 10 would recommend just to like put it in your bedroom or something. So guys, I would like to thank you all for watching and for staying tuned and for, uh, for bearing with me. So anyways, that's what clouds do um, and how they work. So next time I promise we're going to do an anatomy kind of experiment. I was thinking maybe something with how lungs work. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in or something that you would actually want to see if that's not what you're interested in um, or what, I don't know, whatever you think. So. Um, again, send me any videos if you guys are ever able to do one of these. I would love to see how it comes out. I will see you guys next time. So, bye! I don't know why I do that. I'm sorry.